Hey everyone, welcome to IT Twist. My name is Gaurav. In the last video, we have learned about the various loops in Python. If you haven't watched that video, please go and watch because in continuation to that video, we will learn more about loops. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button below to get notified about latest programming tutorials and technology updates. So I'm in my Visual Studio code and we will first deal with nested loop scenario. So let's create one list which will be nums and let's store the variable 1, 2 and 3. After that we will create another list which will hold brands like Google, Apple and Microsoft. Microsoft. So now we will go ahead and apply the nested for loops. So for num in nums as we saw in the previous video so inside that we will just make one another loop so which will be for brand and brands and after that what will we do we will just print this num and brand so what this will return so let's understand the concept thoroughly so first of all this nums will go and in the current iteration it will hold the value of one so this num will hold the value of 1 at the first iteration and then we will go to our internal loop and when this loop will get executed brand will hold the value of google so this will print 1 and google and just remember one thing the inner loop will get finished first and after that the outer loop so in the next iteration what brand will hold the value it will hold the value of apple so this will be one and it will be apple and after that that brands will store the value of microsoft so brand will hold the value of microsoft and num will be one and brand will be microsoft cool so in the next iteration it will go to this outer loop so this num will again hold the value of two so this will go again two and the internal loop will get executed again so it will hold the value of google and num will hold the value of 2 and brand will hold the value of google and in the next iteration it will hold the value of this apple and the num will be 2 only because it is executing the internal loop first so 2 and apple so after that it will hold the value of microsoft and we will print 2 and microsoft so in the similar manner, this num will hold the value of 3 because the internal loop execution got finished. So this num will hold the value of 3 and after that, that brand will hold the value of Google. So it will be 3 and Google. And after that, it will hold the value of Apple and we will print 3 and Apple. And after that, it will hold the value of Microsoft and it will execute 3 and microsoft so now let's run this program so it will be python more loops dot py when i will run this you will find one google one apple one microsoft so on now let's understand how to create an another list in the loop just consider a scenario we have a nums list starting from 1 till 6 and just we need to print the even elements in the list so we will create one another list let's name it e1 and it will be the empty list so after that we will just go to for loop so for num in nums and after that we will check if this num when it is divided by 2 what remainders it gives so when it gives the remainder of 0 it will be the even number and when it will not be 0 it will be the odd number in order to check that this is the modulus operator so in this way we used to check the remainders and after that we will just say even dot append and we will just append this now and when I will print this even you will just find the even elements in the list 2 4 and 6 so now we have interacted good number of times with the list and loop now just understand how to access the items of the dictionary via loops. So I'm just getting rid of these lines and I'm just creating a dictionary of name person 
and in that dictionary there are some key value pairs and first of all the key is name and the value will be say John and after that let's give a key of age and value will be 24 and after that let's give a country and it will be just say USA now we want to access each and every items of this particular person dictionary so how to do that so in order to access item we already seen in our dictionary video where we just written this person dot items and when we will run this particular thing let's print this and run it so when I will print this person dot items so we will get the items list containing this key value pair together in a tuple so let's access this via loop so I will just write for this key comma value in this person dot items then we will print this key value pair so if you understand this thoroughly so person dot items return the list of the key value pairs bundled in a tuple okay so in the first iteration you will get the key as name and the value as John so in the next iteration you will get the key as age and the value as 24 so in the next iteration you will get key as country and value as USA so let's comment this line and just run the code so I am just going Python more loops py you will find name John age 24 and country USA so in this way we can access the dictionary items via loops so that's it for this video. If you have any queries or suggestion, please comment in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.